Seems a strange thing to say because we see an awful lot of you here at the Brit Oval, but welcome back. You must be be delighted to be in the management board and uh, in the management team with the first team and, and here at the Brit Oval. Yeah, it is. I mean, like I said, I've never really gone away. You know, packed in playing in 2003, um, but I've never left the place and never walk away from what's been my home. I've uh, obviously had the corporate role here, um, but to be invited back into a, a cricketing role, putting a tracksuit back on, helping the up and coming players, helping the current staff. It's something that appeals to me. I was able to fit it into my other working schedule, uh, and it's something that I'm looking forward to. It's another challenge. I've always enjoyed challenges and hopefully come out on top. You say back in a cricketing sense with the tracksuit on. That must be something you're relishing doing, actually working with the players again here at, here at Surrey. Yeah, it is. Obviously, I think when you finish um, as a player, I personally believe it's important just to have a little bit of breathing space away from the dressing room that you've been in as a player. Um, then have that break and then to go back in on, in a coaching capacity um, where you can help the players who you may have played with and other players who um, have joined since you've left. So I thought that gap was important um, and then to say the first invitation uh, that has come my way uh, as soon as Chris Adams came in who I worked with when I did those few days at Sussex last year he rang and said uh, we'd love to have you back can you do it um, had a few chats found a few gaps in the diary and I was ready to rush back when he asked you, you say you found a few gaps in the diary, you must have thought, yeah, hang on, this is something that I'd love to do. I'd love to get back into that dressing room and, and start working in a cricketing sense again with yeah, Surrey. Listen, cricket's been my life, you know, and, and Surrey has, you know, I love this county. Uh, you know, so when I say it's my club, I mean that in the nicest possible way. Um, and it's something that gave me a, a great cricketing playing career. And now if I can do something to help the individuals who are now the current players and to help take the club forward, um, then I'm very much available. Um, so when Chris uh, invited us back, uh, so I just had to make sure that when I say impact, I've got to have enough days available uh, for me to be able to get across my points of view, uh, for the players to be able to, to respond ideally positively to those, and then to create a working relationship uh, with Gus Mackay, with Chris Adams and the fellow coaches, um, to, as I say, to really take Surrey back where they should be, and that's near the top, if it, not the top. It must help that you know most of the players in that dressing room well, though, because as I say, even though you haven't been here in a cricketing sense, you've been here a lot of the time, watched a lot of the first team cricket, so that must help that you're not coming in completely. Yeah, you know these players. Yes, and I've been, a, you know, I'm a Surrey supporter, first and foremost, um, but as I say, even when I've been here in my corporate role, uh, with the club, putting a jacket and tie on. You know, though I'm helping host our sponsors and guests at the club, um, I've always got one eye on the game. I've probably had more phone calls from, from the players since I've packed in playing, um, talking about their own games or how they see the setup. how can we take Surrey forward. And I was able to offer uh, my opinions. Um, and I, you don't know everything. When you're outside of the dressing room, you don't know everything that goes on inside that dressing room. You're hearing views, etc. But now I'm back in. I'll be able to see firsthand, first of all, the quality of the players, and I firmly believe we've got the quality here, and then the methods that Chris Adams is going to implement to get us back in the first division and back winning. It's an exciting time, isn't it? You said it's a clean start and there's talk of long-term plans, but it's an exciting time here at Surrey, and this management team that's coming together now, there's a heck of a lot of experience there and a lot to tap into, isn't there? Yeah, there is. You know, and let's make it clear, the coaches coach and prepare. Um, and then I've always said players have to go and play and perform. So, yeah, the coaching staff um, is good. If you just look at the coaching playing records, well, as players, they're all very fine players. Um, as coaching, there's inexperience, um, but they're recently retired players, and I firmly believe that you can make that jump um, pretty quickly. So Chris, it's his first job as team manager. Um, Graham Thorpe's had experience, obviously, down in, in Sydney and New South Wales and he's going to bring some of his skills that he's learnt there back to Surrey. I've, just, I've had a, or dipped my toe in the water as such down at Sussex last year, um, and now fully ready to dive into the pool here at Surrey. So the coaching staff is good, if you look at it on paper. They're going to make sure that they can pass on their knowledge and expertise to the players in such a way that the players respond and then take on the responsibility of performing out in the middle. We haven't asked you yet, the official role for you is working with batsmen and, and with wicket keepers and also your experience in the dressing room, isn't Yeah, it? I mean, Chris just said, come come back um, and we want to tap into your vast knowledge, vast experience that uh, you've accumulated over a period of time. 
Um, now, obviously, I can say I can, inverted commas, specialise in, on the batting front and on the keeping front. And I also personally believe that, that wicket keepers have a great view to look at bowlers too. You know, I know John Batty uh, helps the current bowlers during the game time because he's there, he's seeing wrist positions, head positions, etc. So I'm there to offer any advice that uh, is sought, hopefully be able to say make a difference, a positive difference. Um, and whether that's to help with Chris, um, help with the players, whatever it is, I'm very available and ready to go. You said it, get sorry, back to where they were. If you look at that squad and what you've got in that management team, Stuart, Thorpe, Butcher, Adams, Tudor, you've all got experience of what it takes to win championships, which is vitally important, isn't it, for the next crop that are coming through at the moment? Yeah, it is. I mean, winning is a habit. Um, and we've got to get that winning habit back. Obviously, in the late 90s, early 2000s, Surrey cleaned up, had a tremendous squad of players, overseen by, by Medlicott and Hollyoak. Um, but the players underneath were quality players, and enough all international players. So that was a great time. But like with any great team, that cycle eventually comes to an end, which it did quite quickly for various reasons, retirements, players leaving, etc., etc. So now we're rebuilding. And I had sympathies with, with Alan Butcher. Um, he had it tough because he was coming in to a setup that may not have been as it should have been. And he was trying to patch things up, etc. And my history says, you know, unfortunately, Alan is now, long, uh, now no longer with us. Um, but a lot of the good work that he would have put in has helped build the foundations for Chris and the team to then take it forward. Final question for you. I get the impression you're very excited about this. As I say, we, we see you a lot round here, but to get the tracksuit on and get back in that dressing room that you know so well is obviously something that you are very excited yeah, about. Yeah, listen, I wouldn't, have said, uh, I wouldn't have said yes to the job if I didn't want to do it and didn't believe that I could make a difference. And as I say, you've got to be invited back officially. Um, you know, I've had various chats over the last five or six years, as I said, with the players, with various coaches here. Um, but to be given a, an official role um, is something that I was able to accept and now raring to go. And as I say, you can watch, but you can't make a difference. But if you're there getting your hands dirty, then you take on that responsibility of making sure, and underline the word making sure, that Surrey do return to where they should be. And it's a great club, but as I say, it's had some tough times recently. And we've got to make sure that uh, we compete with the very best and we're looked upon again as the very best. Thanks for your time. Thank you.